We've been working in the area of both propulsion and fusion. So this is the first time that we've combined the two together and we thought a clever idea of how you might be able to use fusion to do manned space travel at high speed. The future for podcasters, you know, are starting out and trying to figure out how to make money. You know, I think that it's a pretty blue sky up there. We want there to be a physical location. We don't want it to be just a bunch of people who have never met each other out there in the ether. Check, 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 check. <laughs> yeah. I have always been interested in technology, at gadgets, and doodads, whiz bangs even I've been interested in. Technology has always influenced me in the way that you can make music. Like how can you make machines create really interesting art? We are inundated with drivel. This is my friend Stephen. Friend? Not mentor? Idol? Stephen's tremendously good at cutting to the essence of things. And that's what I wanted to do with news. So I created a company called Sound. It was all like this. And by the time the iPhone launched, we all knew what it was like to use an iPhone. And we all lined up to get one. We just try to do the same thing. We take what's elemental about using that product and exciting and put it on video. It's very handy. I was trained as an architect, but I kept coming up with uh, ideas that really couldn't be built. And I always felt like it's really the job of the artist to, to push the envelope and to challenge uh, people's expectations of what they think art is. I love light, it's very ephemeral, it's elusive, I can make something disappear or appear. I love being able to mix data that's happening sort of maybe in a virtual world and then mixing that with things that could then happen in the real world or taking real world events and interactions and taking that data and creating a different kind of relationship online. This is a new world. I mean, when I got out of college, I applied for a thousand jobs and didn't get any of them. I mean, literally did not get an interview. It was horrible. I ended up working as my dad's secretary, and I'm a terrible secretary. My dad is a terrible boss. Even if he wasn't my dad, he would be a terrible boss. And I was just absolutely miserable. But what I realized is, well, I just like doing this radio show. I'll just keep doing this radio show and see if I can make it work. Obviously, the bomb people, when they were developing the hydrogen bomb and doing that, they, they weren't interested in increasing the scale, not de decreasing it. So it's a different direction entirely. But it makes use of the same sort of physical principles. We needed a way to compress this down so the temperature of the plasma would be in the 100 million degree range. <laughs> so pretty hot. Yeah, I'm active on Twitter. You know, I don't understand Facebook anymore. But I, you know, in terms of you know having a compulsive relationship, almost addictive with Twitter, I would not say that I'm an internet guy. The software's got to live somewhere, and if you're able to build the hardware, it gives you much more flexibility to come up with any idea that you can think of. Limitations are great because it increases your ability to make interesting things. It's been a good run and I'm still hoping there's a lot more to come.